gentlemen, this is it, our big main event of the evening. Eight class Muay Thai over five three minute rounds with the two minute intervals. And this is the one you have all been waiting for. So let's introduce our warriors to the ring. In the blue corner, a representing Luke Burai and the exiled Jim Southampton. Southampton's very own superstar, Mo Adora! And ladies and gentlemen, it is an honour and privilege for us to have this next fighter here in Southampton. He represents the Santa Gym in Thailand. Lumpini ranked number two. It is Manachai Yakao! Our big main event of the evening and once again your warriors in the ring. In the blue corner, representing Luke Baroy and the XL Jim Southampton, Mighty Mo Adorabo! Representing the Sunshine Jim Thailand, he is Lumpini ranked number two, Manachai Yakao! Five three minute round. As a, well, I think he's had like almost 300 fights. The only, he's hardly lost any of those, to be honest. The people that have fought him, the people that have beat him, are people like Sam A and Pan Payak. And I don't think he's been knocked out, to be honest with you. And I think it's the right tactic for Mo because, as you said, Manachai, tradition. Well, you can't get more traditional Thai than than a, a Lumpini ranked number two. So Mo's really trying to up the pace from round one. As I said, in Thailand, round one is almost not even scored. Mo's just come straight at him because I think that's a, a great tactic. So do I. Fair play to Mo. He's not showing him any respect. He's coming out here and he's putting it on him straight away. That's what he needs to do. Great knee to the body as well from Mo there, superb. And he is a superb boxer with real power and great technique up and down. And again, we mentioned Manachai been fighting since the age of eight, but Mo again, when you remember for his stature, his build, he's still only 19. He's also got that confidence and fearlessness of youth. Yep, I'll tell you what, I do believe in Mo. I think he's got all the talent in the world and it would not surprise me if he did an upset. But I just think it's disrespectful to say it's anything but a massive, massive task. Because if he does pull it off, he's just beat a superstar in the sport. And do you know what? I love the way he's working the angles. He's stepping off the line. He tried to get the and he's done it again. Stepping off the angles. Manachai smiled. I mean, obviously, he's been in this position, some say as many as 300 times in his career. So when they talk about it being your office, but that said, Mo in the best possible way, and I mean this how it's meant to be taken, showing no respect. No, you, you can't show him any respect. And you can't stand there and try and fight like a tie either, Malcolm. You got, if you look at the great fighters like Ramon Deckers, uh, Albert Krauss, they come, they stand and they trade. They punch, they kick, they box. They, they put their fight to the fighter and see how they handle our style of fight. And Danny, you're talking from personal experience as well. Yeah, I fought a lot of ties myself. I fought better with ties than what I did against Europeans. At the moment, Mo Abdurrahman is showing he's done. He's just put Manachai on the canvas. And you could hear the crowd's response and the knee to the midsection. Mo starting just the way we hoped he would, by taking the pace of the fight up a gear. As I said, in Thailand, they would go over, but Danny, wow! I think I just saw Mo just throw a spinning back elbow in round one against Lumpini number two. And he went for it again. There's the confidence of youth. What a start from mighty Mo. When you look at the shape of Mo as well, you think, can he continue this pace for five rounds? I know what Manachai's thinking. He's thinking no. And I'll, I'll up my product as this fight goes on. Has the flight over here taken anything out of him? We'll see right now. Danny, that's an incredible point because what we've got to remember is Manachai, that inner clock, he'll know it's five rounds and we will see suddenly a different Manachai at some point, round three, four or five. Well, Abdurrahman has cut a lot of weight for this fight. He finishes the round dumping Lumpini number two on the floor. He'll grow in confidence. What an opening round from the up and coming superstar. Unbelievable, super Danny. But, but he's as cut you a lot said, of weight for this fight, Malcolm. We'll see later on that he might tire as a result of that. This is Yokao and it's the big main event. Great to see tyres flowing over and uh, 
It's, uh, of course, the fan base here in the south of the UK on the south coast is massive. It's a big night for these spectators and supporters. Could their local hero put an upset? And you couldn't think of a better way for Sean Toomey to be promoting here again on the south coast. What a finale to give us to what has been an incredible show, as we said, right from the C-class up with their enthusiasm. And now we've got the cream of the crop literally in our ring here. Oh, he's one of the best fighters in the world. Just, just make no mistake about it. That's why he's here. Yoko have got them uh, in the book. They've got those fighters fighting under him on contract. They can bring them around the world and put their uh, skills on display for everyone. And it's great for the sport of Muay Thai. Is this the beginning? And there's the timing from Manachai. But as you said, on a regular basis, just as the norm, to be training with Sanchai, <laughs> you know, just as your norm, that's your daily routine, I mean. Yeah, of course, he's a superstar. But this guy has a phenomenal fight record himself. That, that, don't look past what a superstar he is as well. Brian Calder, your uh, other Yokao British promoter, has brought over the cream of the crop of Thailand as well onto the, this very show, Yokao, up in the north of England. So the British spectators are used to seeing them come over, but they're not used to seeing them lose too much. And again, Moe's recovered well. He's come in with the left and right and the knee, but suddenly you see the change of pace from Manachai when he does step up a gear. Great punches at range from Abdurrahman there. Getting his range really spot on, Abdurrahman. He's an intelligent kid. Well, we said before, and Danny, that was one of the keys to this bout, if he's got any chance of winning, is where he decides, what range he decides to fight this bout at. Tried to climb Manachai there, and Manachai just sits him down, puts him to bed. But again, Good you talk about hand. composure. Look at Mo's composure as well. The biggest fight of his career. Most definitely. Good punch to the body. He's got a dangerous left hand, Mo. Fights out of Southpaw, of course. Great prospect for this kid, no matter what happens here tonight, Malcolm. Exactly, Danny. No matter I mean, what happens in these next rounds, great future for this kid. So there was the bell, but it wasn't. Maybe they'd only done the two minutes, but you're right, Danny. There's no way in a way that Mo can lose here tonight. But what I have found is when they get into range and Manachai starts to smile like that, it's this is almost effortless. Mo tried to trip him in the clinch there and send him down. Manachai just planted his foot strong launched him back down you're going to see him step through the gears a slow progression here and uh we're going to see what mo's really made of i only judge fighters when they've been taken to a dark place yeah we've seen liam harrison we've seen the stars of yokel the british fighters but here he is on the yokel stage scores a big body kick as mo comes in and he's looking to unsettle manachai but he, he's just got a face of stone it's so calm under pressure and calling Mo on. Mo, good evasion as well as Mo throws those shots. Manachar shoots back and Mo slips under the shot. Oh, big jumping kick as well. And look at the balance Mo had to hold him there, Malcolm. Unbelievable skill for this young kid. And Danny, the crowd are going crazy as Mo takes it to Manachai. We saw earlier in the night on the B-class and some of the A-class fights where we wanted someone who was behind on points to throw caution to the wind and go for the attack. This is what Mo's doing. He's taking that almost cavalier attitude that says, I'm going to give an account of myself. You're going to see what I'm capable of and let's see what happens from there. And it's working for him. Doesn't matter what happens in life, Malcolm. When the opportunities come, you have to take them. That's what makes it the man. And this is the biggest opportunity he's going to get as far as Thai boxing goes. Lumpini ranked number two in the UK on his hometown. The stage is set, isn't it? It's wonderful, and we're already in round three. Manachai looks for the knee coming forward, takes Mo off balance, Mo straight back up. Mo starting to tire, Malcolm. I'm telling you now, Mo starting to tire. This is what I say to you about when a fighter's in a dark place. When you're in there with no energy, that is a very, very dark place to be, especially when you're someone as lethal in front of you as, the, as uh, Manachai is. 
And as you said that, Danny, suddenly it's turned and Manachai is pouring forward. Mo still looking for the big elbows defensively here. Great turn in the clinch from uh, Abdurrahman there. I think as you, this fight will go on, you'll see uh, Abdurrahman come out very strong at the beginning of each oh, round. Oh, massive shot there! Danny, he has dropped! Manachai with that punch combination! I don't believe what I'm seeing and nor the crowd. Manachai is out! I do not believe what I've just seen. I just said to everyone, you opportunities come up every now and then. Mo Abdurrahma has flipped the script here tonight at Yokel. He's taken the opportunity with both hands. He's pulled it into his heart and he's pulled it off. What a moment for the young guy. Unbelievable. Dan Danny, let's put this in perspective. This is a movie. This is Rocky. This is the ending you get in the movies, not real life. Mo has just done that. Unbelievable. That blistering punch combinations. Can you believe what you've just seen? If this was a movie, you go, yeah, it's a film. Well, fighting's fighting. It can be over in a second. Uh, I said before the fight started many times, it's disrespectful to say it was anything but an uphill struggle for Mo to fight someone of this calibre. This moment here, with his hands in the air, looking at his home crowd, that is why I didn't want to say that, because it would take something away from what he's achieved here tonight. It's nothing short of a miracle in Muay Thai. Danny, we've been a part of history here tonight. It's that simple. Yokao, the biggest stage in the world. I am going to announce that you're winner by way of chaos.